the Biden administration's plan, this, again, not a joke, this is real, is to provide the illegal border crossers, which they call irregular migrants. That's their new term yeah. for it. Irregular. It's They don't want to call them illegal. Cell phones. You guys are starting to give smartphones to border crossers, hoping that they'll use the phones to check in or uh, to be tracked. I, which part of that is supposed to deter people from crossing illegally into the states? We need to take steps to ensure that we know where individuals are and we can track in, and we can check in with them. I want you to understand this is real. This is the kind of solution. They're sitting around the table at the White House. They're saying, oh, ta-da, we got the, we've got the plan. We've got the idea. We're going to give everybody that comes across illegally a free phone because then we'll track them and we'll call them and check in on them. We assume, of course, that the individuals that are coming here illegally are not going to sell that iPhone. Okay, or give it to somebody else so they're not tracked, or toss it. But they, you know, sell it, keep it. They may want to keep it and come here for free. Why are we in? Incent- I mean, I know we're doing it for tracking, as if we're going to deport, which we're not. They all know this is going to be used to track them to try and get them to their court date, which they don't want to go to, uh, uh, because they're already in the country. They've already gotten into the the shadow society which exists. You could you could hand the phone off to someone else. Then now the government's tracking the wrong person and and. Okay, it's just, it's absurd. Any concern by folks around here that these migrants will take the phones and just toss them? And then- Do you have a record of people throwing phones away? I'm just asking if that's a concern. Our concern is ensuring that individuals who uh, irregularly migrate to the United States uh, proceed through uh, our process of, uh, uh, you know, of course, being monitored, but also participating in uh, in uh, pro- in, uh, in hearings. They don't show up at those hearings. Right. And the ones that do, the system's so overwhelmed, they can't even have they the hearings. There's not near enough administrative law judges I, so to handle these, these on the So these phones better be pretty good phones because, you know, these your cell phones were all used to kind of trading maybe them in and the, out. Maybe they'll do the, the deportation the hearings by Zoom. got to be four or five years we're not prepared to absorb this amount of of migration we're just not the country is not prepared to do this we can't take five hundred thousand plus people a month why are they doing this because trump did the opposite and secured the border so they're going to do this okay i get that but what are they also thinking they're thinking in the back of their mind this will help them in an election down the road it is a sick political play because you're you're incentivizing people to be in horrendous conditions using these cartel run coyotes uh a lot of times trafficking drugs trafficking humans sex trafficking i mean the list goes on about the bad actions but yes they think long term politically there's going to be a benefit with the hispanic and latino vote we're the most generous country in the world when it comes to immigration and we love that we just want people to follow the rule. You shouldn't reward people who break the law. You shouldn't reward people with a cell phone, especially when we've got border problems. Close the border and let's put the, the, the focus on those waiting in line and getting more people legally into the country through the rules rather than having line jumpers. Is this indefinite? Because right now I can't imagine the backlog's got to be at least three, four years till your hearing ever gets called. Uh, so is this an indefinite free phone contract that you get to utilize? So not only do you get to cross the border, it, we're incentivizing uh, drug cartels to utilize you know our southern border and bad actors, but we're also we're going to give you something of value. It's very difficult to predict what that migration will be, but we are planning for different scenarios. We are then at the border, surging resources. What distinguishes us from the past uh, is the fact that we will not implement policies of cruelty that disregard our asylum laws. We are rebuilding a system that was entirely dismantled. Remember, folks, what was going on during the Obama administration at the border and the migration camps. And they say they're going to be more humane. More humane would be stay in your country of origin and then seek asylum under our asylum process, which we have in the United States of America. That would be how you handle this. What you don't do, in my opinion, is overload the system, which they know it's going to do, so no one's ever tracked and and the phones are ridiculous. I mean, absolutely preposterous that they're going to get a phone. And that's going to somehow, you know, answer it. Oh, your deportation, you're in, by the way, you're in the state of, you know, North Carolina. You got to come back to Texas for your hearing. Uh, so th- this whole, and the way they say it, 
We, what distinguished us from the past is we're not going to implement policies of cruelty. Actually, you are. Because you're letting so many people come in the system, it's going to be unsafe sanitary conditions, it's going to be unsafe in the communities, it's going to be unsafe for the millions uh, in a co- course of months of kids and it, the sex trafficking that goes on, the drug u- uh, drug trafficking that goes on. Yeah, that's a policy of problems. Securing a border is not cruel. It's smart. 